128 women to two finalists on this, the start of championship weekend at the U.S. Open. Attendance continues at a record pace, and tennis fans flocking to this modern mecca of the racket have been richly rewarded. And the players are taking the stadium court for the first match of the day. Dina Garrison, followed by Martina Navratilova. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to brunch at Flushing Meadow, day 12 of the U.S. Open on CBS Sports. We'll start our day with a long-awaited rematch between Martina Navratilova and Zena Garrison in one semifinal. Then, after a half-hour break for local news, we'll be back for the men's doubles final. The surprising team of John McEnroe and Australian Mark Woodford. Fire and ice, if you will. They'll take on the American Davis Cup doubles team of Ken Flack and Robert Seguso. And topping off our tennis triple header, Steffi Graf and Gabriella Sabatini in the other women's semifinal, which is also a rematch of their clash in last year's U.S. Open final. So sit back and get set for the start of championship weekend. And we'll get the action underway for you when we continue live from the National the Tennis Center here on CBS. And these women have met twice previously here at the U.S. Open. CBS Sports coverage of the United States Open Tennis Championships is sponsored by Subaru. We built our reputation by building a better car. Visa, accepted at nearly 7 million places worldwide. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. And by AT&T, the right choice. When you have 800 services, just like having a line of people in front of your business waiting to come in to buy your services. The longer they have to wait, the more likely they are to leave the line. If you're not using AT&T 800 service, you're 50% more likely to lose a call. AT&T provides the quickest call setup time in the business today and also the fewest number of blocked calls. If you call us now, we'll wait. Another lovely day as uh, good weather prevails through this U.S. Open this year. We're at the National Tennis Center live in Flushing Meadow, New York. And uh, warming up, Martina Navratilova on the right, Zina Garrison on the left for this first women's semifinal. And a rematch, as we said, of a year ago, when in the quarterfinal, uh, one of the big upsets in recent times saw the number 11 seed, Zina Garrison, take the match from the number two seed, Martina Navratilova. And a year ago, Garrison, up a set, took a five-love lead in the second set, and it looked like she was going to roll through with play like this. But suddenly, having had only six unforced errors and 27 winners to this point, things turned badly the other way. She just flat out got nervous and nearly lost it all. Martina, picking up her game, forced a tiebreak in the second set. Here at 4-1 on the tiebreak, the experience of Martina in these big matches really started to take over. So Navratilova won the second set in the tiebreaker, and now in the third, they're at five all. And Garrison got it together again, breaking Martina to go up six games to five. Now facing a service break, but Garrison got it together, saved that point. And then on match point, 7-5, a huge victory over Martina. And there she is live Ladies on the stadium court, uh, hoping she can duplicate that feat and make her way to the finals this year. So now to cover the action, let's join our booth announcers out on the stadium court, Pat Summerall, Tony Trabert, and Mary Carrillo. Thank you, Tim. Let's first turn to Tony Trabert. What are your thoughts about this match? Well, Zena has to be thinking, Pat, that th we've played 25 times and I've lost 24 of them. <laughs> the only win was what we just showed you here last year in the quarterfinals. She's playing wonderfully. She really is very confident. I watched her practice this morning, and uh, she's going to have to try to rush Martina, not let Martina set the pace. Mary Carrillo, what are your thoughts? Well, I, I think she's playing very well. Neither player has lost a set. They're both playing very aggressively, but i got to think Martina's going to do do better. She's serving much better than she did last year. What kept Zena in the match last year is that she returned serve so well. I think Martina's going to try hard to just shut her down. A lot has been said about Zena's weight loss. Has that helped her? She's lost a, a little more than 10 pounds since Wimbledon, and she feels she was always one of the quickest players on the court anyway. Now she's that much quicker. Her former coach spoke with her before she beat Chris Everett and said, remember, you're one of the fastest players on the court. There's nothing she can hit that you can't get to, but 
Remember, today Zenith plays, she plays a serving volleyer, and volleys are a lot tougher to chase down than ground strokes. So here is how Martina Navratilova got this far. Her road to the semifinals. Not she has very not difficult. Lost, excuse me, Tony. She has not lost a set, as Mary pointed out. She's lost three games. Now she's lost seven games, cruising nine games. And then a six-love, six-love win over Manuela Maleva. Very impressive and very surprising that you could beat someone. Of course, the debate goes on. Would you like to have a tough match coming in or would you like to have an easy match coming in? I think as long as much tennis as Martina has played, she just soon cruise on through. There, this is going to be a tough one for her. And she hadn't, she hadn't expended a lot of energy. And Mary, here is how Zena Garrison got to the semifinals. Zena had a, only a slightly tougher time. Again, she played so cleanly, straight setting some pretty decent players, including Patty Fendick who can be very tough on a hard court. Donna Faber, she shut down. Faber had upset Mon Hanna Monlikova. And then, of course, Chris Everett in straight sets. Uh, and she's, she's proven time and again at this tournament that she's got the confidence to, to do very, very well, even in a grand slam. In Zena's match against Chris, she was down 2-5 in the first set and came storming back. Last year in that match with Martina, she got ahead and got so nervous it almost got away. Obviously, the wind pattern is such that uh, the planes taking off from LaGuardia Airport nearby do come over the tennis stadium. Temperature 70 degrees, humidity 60 percent, the wind 5, 10 miles an hour, and in the direction that makes them come over the arena. Partly sunny is the forecast. Right now, it's perfect. Zena Garrison to serve. First game, first set. Behind the door. And now they'll wait for the fans behind her to settle. Thank you. Nowhere near a capacity crowd is yet, but that'll change. Fifteen love. This this is gonna be a battle of who can get to the net first, even off the other person's serve. Second serve set up that point for Garrison. Garrison beat Martina in the quarters here last year, and then she said had a real letdown in the semis against Sabatini. She said, I won't let that happen today. I won't have a letdown after, after this my big Everett win. They both are very confident. At least they say so. You're never sure. 30-15. Well, you just about have to be after getting this far, not losing a set in either case. You have to feel you're doing something right. measured ground strokes by Martina didn't rush it that was not her attempt to actually win the point this one was she got the previous one down so Zena had to volley somewhat defensively and then was able to win it with the next shot and we're deuce a 
Avenish Garrison. Again, well measured. Martinez played two very strong game points against in a row now off that side. Both times Zena's gone to the forehand. You can extract some errors off her forehand, but she can hit some winners. Garrison won the first game of the first set. Second seeded Martina Navratilova serving now at 15 love. See the good net coverage by Martina, the good touch. The forehand volley is a little bit more suspect than her backhand volley. And as quick as Zena is, she wasn't able to get to that one. 30 love. There's those big returns that Garrison used in this game last year. Broke Martina right away. Again, there wasn't, there was a lot of spin on this ball, but not, not real teeth on it, not a lot of stick. She paid for it. Oh, boy. Badly shanked. 30, 40. Very uncharacteristic well. of Martina. <clears throat> It is, but again, this is following the same pattern as last year, Pat. Didn't really set up real well for that. Didn't get it to the side quickly enough. Her feet were still moving as she tried to hit it. So now it's break point. All over that one. Right on top of the net. <laughs> it's so important that Martina holds in this game because this will set the tone for the match. If if Zena is holding serve and thinking she can swing away on Martinez, it'll shake Martinez's nerves. To my mind, Martinez playing this match is playing well enough to be dictating this match. I mean, it's up to her whether she wins or loses this semifinal. Beautifully done. Back at Deuce again. Martina knows that if she doesn't come in behind her serve, Zena's going to come in. And so she, at least at this point, has been coming in behind both first and second serves. Ball. Advantage to have it 
second time Martina really crowds the net that's got to send a message to Zena that you got to go over her head on their second shot look how close she is that's a dangerous spot to be if you get that close to the net not a good serving game at all for Martina her first trip out even if Zena loses this game she's got to feel good the airplanes disturbing Martina as they take off out of LaGuardia. Game Navicolova. Games are one all now. First set. One all. Again, the only loss was here last year. Of that loss, Martina says, I never avenged it. I've beaten her since, but I'll be remembering that match for the rest of my life. Short approach shot and fine backhand by Garrison. She slices up some backhands when she tries to make the passing shot. She normally goes over it. Martina trying to take Zena's second serve and come in behind it. Zena has a couple of options. They either take some speed off my first serve and get a higher percentage in, or just come in myself to keep her from coming in. The second serve Zena's been going to Martina's forehand, making her have to swing at it rather than chip it with the backhand. Now two break points for Martina. first set and we'll be back at the US Open after this word from your local station women's semifinal Martina Navratilova and Zena Garrison Navratilova coming off a service break leads 2-1 in the first set of the semifinal again waiting for the crowd to settle Solid, convincing backhand by Garrison. She's elected so far to try to chip. Here's our little net cam. Little camera right at the base of the, in the middle of the net. Catching Martina being passed. 15 all. I think what she's doing better this year, Tony, is she's, she's picked up the racket speed. 
you know, and that's why she's getting a, a, a lot more stick, and she seems so much more confident on her shots. When Zina she here. starts choking, Zena, right, when she starts choking, getting tight, that racket speed slows down, and because she strings her, her, the tension on her strings is so low, her balls start floating and flying. So we'll see if she can keep up that beautiful racket work, that quickness throughout this match. Tina yeah, disturbed by some movement back of Zena Garrison. Be ready. <laughs> so there goes some more lost luggage. They do, they do make a racket. good return of service she takes it early and she's attacking the ball she's in most cases not being careful defensive which is good Hit. First First serve. Serve. her return stance was designed to make sure she hits the racket early keeping it way out in front waving it in front of her there's a crutch almost a visual crutch a reminder to be out in front it was a, it's a, a return of serve stance she developed three years ago at a clay court tournament. Her coaches told her to take the ball early and play that way. And that tournament, she won it. She beat Chris Etter for the first time. And it's kept this return ever since. take that second serve and she draws another double fall from it that kind of posturing works no two ways about it. that's martina's third double fall in only her second serving game great application of pressure from garrison zina is the only player i know on the tour that chokes up on the racket on her ground strokes she doesn't do it when she's serving oh. yeah. Yeah. we just saw how tough it's been for someone to break Martina this tournament broken only twice. That's true of Steffi Groff as well going into the semis against Sabatini. That'll be later this afternoon. Oh. Difficult for a right-hander to step around the left-hander swinging serve. Keeps chasing into your body. That's twice now that Cena's been trapped with that slice serve coming into her body. see that serve coming in there like that you should step the other way and take it on the backhand side the curving of the ball just clears it away from your body and gives you free swing at it <laughs> this 
this is the women's semifinal. Martina Navratilova against Zena Garrison at the USTA's National Tennis Center. 1989 United States Open. It's another area that, that Zena's improved. I think her serve a few years ago, she used to throw, take a little walk into the ball. She was very mechanical. Fifteen all. That was a pretty shot from way off the court. She's had a tremendous year, Garrison. She's now been in the semis of all four Grand Slams. But has not gotten to a final yet. Maybe today, who knows. 30-15. She's got another big event coming up in a couple weeks, too, doesn't she? <laughs> She's getting married. And credits this man, Willard Jackson, with a, an awful lot of her happiness and confidence in 1989. Yes! Second, second serve. That, of course, the fiancé. I really, I get the feeling that this match was decided early by Martina when she had those two key holes in trouble because now I have the feeling Martina's going to start opening up and really going for her shots. Oh! Zena knows she had a couple of opportunities and just wasn't able to come through. And Martina's dictating the policy right now, too, is that the style of play suits Martina. Three games to two. First set. Oh, five more minutes. Uh-uh. It's our anniversary. Let's call it sick. Can't. Oh, ten years deserves something. True. Haven't I made you coffee for ten years? Haven't I had to drink it? Now, come on. Why? Show your friends this. Happy anniversary. Oh, it's beautiful. The Diamond Anniversary Band. This year. Tell her you'd marry her all over again. Okay, I'll show him. Tomorrow. Okay. Fourth days of business is a lot of fun, but today it's giving me a splitting headache. For this kind of pain, I don't take aspirin or Tylenol anymore. Today, I go straight to Advil. One Advil is usually enough, but for a really tough headache, it's two Advil, and that pain will be history. And Advil is gentler to my stomach than aspirin. I like that. Advil makes my job a lot easier. Advil, tablets and caplets, advanced medicine for pain. Tennis is a great game. All it takes is a little coordination. Footwork is important, too. Plus, with tennis, the whole family can enjoy it together. Tennis is a game for everyone, even us. Back at the National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadow, New York, as we uh, get ready to return into the stadium court, a reminder that we have following today on our triple header of tennis, the men's doubles final, McEnroe and Woodford against Flack and Seguso, and then that's followed by the women's singles semifinal between Steffi Graf, the top seed and defending champion, against Gabriella Sabatini. Back to Pat. And in the stadium, Martina Navratilova leading three games to two in the first set of this semifinal, and Martina serving. 15 love. Thirty love. Now 
that's the problem when you try to chip a return. If you don't get it real low because they're not trailing very fast, the server can get in pretty close, get the ball fairly high, and make a good aggressive volley. When you're driving the ball, it gets to your opponent more quickly, and they don't have as much time to get in a good volleying position. That's four double falls for Martina. She thought that one might have been good. But because Zena's standing in so close on that second serve and, and a threat to take it and come in, Martina trying to get extra depth and has just missed over that service line a couple times. I always like when you miss big instead of into the yeah. net. At least, it, you know, you get the feeling that you're going for your shot. Too. Sure. It's not necessarily because she gets nervous. You just try and do something a little extra special because you know the other person can return well. Right. same philosophy on approach shots and on your way in if you miss one over the baseline once in a while that's a lot better than hitting in the net you're going for depth trying to hurt your opponent see where she chokes up on that racket Martina completely in control here First volley, not that difficult. This one stays up. So that made it a pretty simple volley for a quality volleyer like Martina. 40-30. Five double faults now. If her serve gives her trouble, the rest of her game slides backwards. If she's serving extremely well, then the rest of her game picks up. So this could be a critical service game for her. She's only winning 20% of the points on her second serve. So she should be spinning in her first serves. Then in a way that plays into Zena's hand because you take away her first serve as a weapon. So that's the dilemma that a Martina has to deal with. Four-two, Navratilova. Let's go to Leslie Visser. Thanks, Pat. I'm down here with Willard Jackson, who's had a busy summer. He and Zena are getting married on September 23rd. Willard, how hectic has it been? Hey, listen, between tennis and traveling and me working, uh, get the idea of the, the invitations to the wedding are just going out this week. And uh, we only have about three weeks until the wedding. So that kind of lets you know it's been really hectic this summer. What, what about today? How was Zena's mood this morning? I saw you give each other a nod of confirmation. Oh, yeah, she's feeling really well. Confidence is up. And uh, she's just going to go for it. She knows that she can win if she plays hard, and I think that's what she'll do. Well, it would make a great wedding present a win here. Back to you, Pat. All right, Leslie, thank you. 4-2, number to Lova. Garrison serving at 15 love. it down anyway but the Navratilova to love a volley called one nice pickup coming from Mart from Martina she gave a slight glance at the lines person who called us out but again Zena was all over her anyway she really is so quick the best looking forehand I've seen Mar Martina hit today. I have a feeling Zena's going to try to break down the 
than an Abertilova forehand, which is a shot that does tend to break down under pressure at the net as well as from the baseline. That one was well struck. She needed it too. Got it. Makes it 40-15. Second ace by Garrison. Four three, Nabakalova in the first set. 